Narak Chaturdashi is followed by Lakshmi Poojan or the worship of Goddess Lakshmi. It is observed on Kartik Amavasya, the new moon day in the lunar month of Kartik. If Narak Chaturdashi is called Choti Diwali, then Lakshmi Poojan is called Badi Diwali or the main Diwali. According to legend, Lord Indra, the king of gods, was very arrogant about the wealth and grandeur of his kingdom, Amravati. But this wealth was due mainly to the presence of Goddess Lakshmi in heaven. One day, Sage Durvasa offered a garland of flowers to Lord Indra as a mark of respect. Instead of gracefully accepting it, however, Indra arrogantly put the garland around the neck of his elephant, Airavat, who threw it to the ground. Angered by such disrespectful behavior, Durvasa cursed Indra that his grand kingdom, Amravati, would be ruined. Lakshmi was upset by Indra's arrogance and disappeared below the sea. Amravati lost its splendor, and Indra and the other gods became weak. It was only after the emergence of Lakshmi from the Samudra Manthan that Amravati regained its grandeur, and Indra and the gods regained their strength. They also became immortal after consuming Amrit, the nectar of immortality, which was brought by Dhanvantari. Goddess Lakshmi is the symbol of wealth and prosperity. People deep clean their home as a symbol of cleansing their lives from bad thoughts and actions. A colorful design called a rangoli, made from various colored powders, is made outside the house. Earth and oil lamps are also lit. The belief is that since it is a new moon night, Lakshmi loses her way in the darkness. The lamps illuminate her path towards people's homes. On Lakshmi Pujan day, a small idol of Goddess Lakshmi is placed on a decorative stool covered with a beautiful cloth. Small idols or photos of Goddess Saraswati and Lord Ganesh are often kept alongside the idol of Lakshmi. They are decorated with fresh flowers, a red powder called kumkum, and turmeric powder. The idols are then bathed with a mixture called panchamrit, made from five ingredients, milk, curd, honey, ghee or clarified butter, and sugar. An offering of assorted sweetmeats is made to the idols. People from the business or trader community, particularly in the Indian state of Gujarat, also have a ritual on Lakshmi Pujan day, where they keep their account ledgers in front of Goddess Lakshmi's idol and seek her blessings for a profitable business. This ritual is called Chopra Pujan. The word Chopra means book in the Gujarati language. Goddess Lakshmi, therefore, is not just the goddess of wealth and prosperity. She is also the goddess of purity, who cleanses our lives of bad thoughts.